Hello, my little YouTubers. Thank everyone for tuning in. It is Easter, and I went to the beauty supply store yesterday. Not today, because they're not open, of course. But I just wanted to do this really quick, because my I'm very time crunch, so I don't want to leave anything out or not be on time for anything. So I'm just going to do a really, really quick uh, haul of things I purchased from the beauty supply store to save some money. And the beauty supply stores... Um, they're dominant mainly in African-American communities, uh, and they have some in the Hispanic, but most are African-American. They're generally owned by Asians, but we have a lot of African-Americans uh, who are coming up in the game and obtaining their own thing. Goodness for that. We want everybody to have a fair shot at entrepreneurship. Um, generally in the Caucasian neighborhood, I would tend to go to Sally, so that's one I know that they have in the Caucasian communities. Okay, um, we're going to first say thank you for tuning in. If you're new, first time viewer, thank you for being curious enough to find out what my channel is about. And I hope you enjoy it and click that subscribe button. It's free; doesn't cost you anything. I hope you thumbs up as well as share if you're on any of the social medias like Instagram, Snapchat, um, Facebook. YouTube, whatever, just share. Sharing is caring. And thank you to all my loyal subscribers who have pushed me up and held me up and just encouraged me so greatly. I can never, never, never thank you so much because without you, there would be no me. Excuse my hand for shaking. I am tired. Okay, let's get started. I went to a beauty supply store. I don't even know the name of them. When I see one, I just generally um, go in there but they all carry pretty much the same brands with a dollar two being the difference but they're cheaper than perhaps that you can get from your general discount merchandise such as walgreens target that sort of thing okay this is by beauty treat beauty treats it's a strobing highlighter kit and they had two particular um palettes this one it has has a number i can't see a name but it's strobing highlighter and illuminator is 614 032 if that helps you and it gives you six of them they also have it in a powder this is the cream so they have it in a powder and they have a cream in two different palettes that i know of they also carry these beautiful um eyeshadow palettes with these very very bright colors this is 3.99 as well as the strobing highlighter was 3.99 and this number is 624059 if they have names like i said I don't know I can't see them so excuse me for that this is also a more neutral with browns eyeshadow palette and it is number six two four oh five nine all right you can't beat that now going over to clean colors they have these beautiful bright colors and they are very pigmented for the money and by me being darker complected I need more pigmented eyeshadows, but I always base and prime my eyes so they will come and pop more vividly. See these pretty purples and pinks and fuchsias and oranges and lemon yellows. This is palette 13 called Tech. This one with the smoky type eyeshadows of anywhere from black to blues to a white. And this is palette 15 Experimenter. This right here, if you can see it, a navy blue to a medium blue to a lilac to a turquoise. I mean, pretty colors. Just a teal blue and lilac. It is number 14, Tester. Excuse me for getting all close up, but I can't see that well. And this last palette is a palette of greens. Look at those beautiful greens. Ivy League to forest to pine. And it is number 16, Chemist. And these palettes, folks, cost a whopping $1.99. You can't beat that. I'm telling you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And while I'm up, oh, well, let me do these. This is Nika K's. They got defining eyeshadow strips, and we all seen those. I can't open it because I got a camera in my hand, but it's one, two, three, four, four eyeshadows in the pack. This is uh, Cosmopolitan. Look at that. Real pretty colors. And this one right here is in bloom. And again, these are like $2.99. You can't beat them. Awesome deal. And I also got two of these by Clean Color Bra Pomade. And it, it, it goes on pretty good. This is in deep brown, but they have several shades. And those were a dollar a piece. 
and this is by clean color it's called skin skinjury it's sexy coverage concealer this was in tan and this one is in toffee they were a dollar a piece can't beat it folks i'm telling you and this is a pretty uh polish called sugar polish i needed this black and silver for event i'm going to so i got that and i picked up this um it's a garlic uh, nail hardener and I also just chop off a little piece of garlic and put it also in the bottle so it'd be more potent and I think those were like a dollar and maybe 49 cent really really inexpensive coming over here to our lips I love purple lipsticks folks how many purple lipsticks can you have lip polishes crayons I mean I got them all but let me run through these really, really quick because, I mean, it gets to be redundant after a while. But these right here are Clean Colors Madly Matte Lip Glosses. And this one is in Untamed. This one is in Lux. Let me see if I can see Lux. Oh, there you go. Lux. This was in Mystic. This one is a pretty blue. It is in blueberry pie. Excuse me, I'm trying to hold and focus when I got away. And this one is in licorice, which is like a black lip polish. And those were like a dollar and 99 cent. I also got this one, this intense lip polish by Absolute. And it is in NF. A92. It had a name. Oh, here the name. Purple Crush. A dollar and like I said, more more than dollar forty-nine. And I got this Velveteen lipstick by Nika K. And it is in the color Elderberry. Real pretty purple also. And I got this uh Ruby Kisses. And it's Turk and Caicos. It was a dollar. And this was, this Velveteen was like $1.29. All right, folks, that's it. That's all on my little beauty supply store haul. Check your phone book directory on possible uh, beauty supply stores they have in your area. You know, they're not being, they're not conducive, you know. They're basically independent owned or family owned. So I can't really give you a listing but if you have them in your area, check them out. They are awesome. I, along with using beauty spice stores and Walgreens, I'm always on point with my makeup. All right, folks, till next time, this is the loquacious one coming at you with a beauty haul from the beauty supply store. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share on social media. Tell someone to tell someone. Thank you as much as always as I possibly can. And don't forget if you have any questions, comments, cares, or concerns, or constructive criticism even, leave them in the box and below. Till the next time, I love you dearly. Happy Easter. Bye-bye.